Hey rocket engineers, I actually uh, finally got a rocket with the capsule on it all the way to uh, the 100 kilometer low orbit mission. I had a nose cone stuck on it with uh, just a little bit of fuel, but I didn't actually use that. I'm going back to look at the design. In the future, I'm going to turn on the fuel line and see if I can get that last little bit of fuel out of there. You see the uh, top tank, the, the top engine is about 2,000 kilograms. The bottom has got 9,000 kilograms. That 11,000 total, that's uh, about 10,000 kiloliters of fuel. In this case, I just used full throttle the whole way. I think in this trajectory, I made it a little bit shallower than I had been. I've been going up more first, I'm trying to throttle back to avoid really high dynamic pressure but in this case I just kept it full throttle and I uh, bent it over for gravity turn I think at 15,000 meters and that did the trick although I just barely barely made it you'll see here in a few minutes I also uh, filmed this at the wrong resolution, so if it looks a little fuzzy, sorry about that. I had to zoom in. <laughs> I have an ultra-wide screen, and to make it fit YouTube, I have to remember to change my resolution before I start recording. Yeah, there's... Oh, I was a little bit late there. It was like closer to 19, 20,000 meters that I bent it over. So here I started looking at the... Uh, I was trying to get a higher apoapsis. I think I got to like... 85 kilometers with the first stage. It's going to burn out. Yeah, oh, 87. Okay. So here I'm just going to push myself away from the first stage a little bit and then wait to get to a higher altitude so that uh, Pixie engine's more efficient in the more rarefied atmosphere. So here I skipped ahead. So this is I'm going to increase my apoapsis uh, up to the 100 kilometers that we need. I think I actually cut it off a little too soon and then had to uh, burp it a little bit more to bump it up to 100, 100 kilometers. Just be patient, it'll get there. Yep. <laughs> there we go. That's the apoapsis we want. Here's the la the circularization burn, which is the last burn. In this case, I'm just going straight prograde with like 20 seconds left to apoapsis. This keeps the apoapsis in front of us a little bit, so we, we keep our 100 point something kilometers. And I tweak it a little bit to keep that in front of us. So I put the nose up a little bit put the apoapsis farther out in front of us and then I bring it back down make it a little more efficient we actually want to go as close to prograde as we can and in a moment here it'll run away from us it means the orbit's getting circularized and we'll get to 100,000 kilometers, or 100 kilometers all the way around. Just, uh, look at the fuel's just about to get to 10,000, right? There. <laughs> just drips of fuel left. Let me know what you think. Bye.